question. You drive along a street and hear a siren. You cannot immediately see the emergency vehicle. You should. Option number one, keep driving until you see the vehicle. Option number two, pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. Option number three, slow down. Don't stop until you see it. Option number four, speed up and turn at the next intersection. The answer is option number two. Pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. Note, if you hear a siren or an air horn close by but do not know exactly where the emergency vehicle is, safely pull over to the right side of the road and stop until you are sure it is not headed towards you. Question. The driver's left arm and hand are extended downward. This hand signal means that the driver plans to Option number 1. Turn left. Option number 2. Turn right. Option number 3. Stop. Option number 4. Start up. The answer is option number 3. Stop. Note. If a driver's left arm and hand are extended downward, they are indicating that they intend to stop. Adjust your driving accordingly if following a driver who is using this hand signal. Question. What is the only effective way to reduce your blood alcohol content, BAC? Option number one, drink coffee. Option number two, exercise. Option number three, allow your body time to get rid of the alcohol. Option number four, take a cold shower. The answer is option number 3. Allow your body time to get rid of the alcohol. Note: The only method that effectively reduces your BAC is to not drink alcohol for a period of time. Coffee, exercise and cold showers cannot reduce your BAC or change the effects of alcohol. They can help you remain awake, but they cannot change your BAC or make you sober. Question: You may not cross a single broken white or yellow line. Option number 1. When doing so would interfere with traffic. Option number 2. When turning left into a driveway. Option number 3. When the car in front of you is disabled. Option number 4. When passing to the right on a one-way street. The answer is option number 1. When doing so would interfere with traffic. Note. You may cross a single broken line to pass or change lanes as long as you can do so safely and without interfering with traffic. Question. As you near an intersection, the traffic light changes from green to yellow. Your best action would be to Option number 1. Speed up to beat the red light. Option number 2. Apply the brake sharply to stop. Option number 3. Be prepared to stop in the center of the intersection. Option number 4. Be prepared to stop before the intersection. The answer is option number 4. Be prepared to stop before the intersection. Note: A steady yellow traffic light indicates that the light will be soon changed to red. You should be prepared to stop for the red light if it is safe to do so. Question. When two vehicles enter an intersection from different highways at the same time, which vehicle must yield the right of way? Option number one, either one. Option number two, the vehicle on the left. Option number three, the vehicle on the right. Option number four, neither. The answer is option number two, the vehicle on the left. Note. At intersections that are controlled by signs or signals and at intersections that are uncontrolled, the driver on the left must yield the right of way to the driver on the right when two vehicles arrive to the intersection at the same time. Question. If you are driving on the interstate and pass your exit, you should Option number 1. Quickly cut across traffic to make your turn. Option number 2. Make a U-turn to go back to the exit. Option number 3. Continue driving and use the next exit. Option number 4. Put your vehicle in reverse to go back to the exit. The answer is option number 3. Continue driving and use the next exit. Note. Don't make a last minute turn into an exit. If you pass your exit, you must go to the next one. Question. What does a slow moving vehicle emblem look like? Option number 1. 
a square red sign option number 2 a round green sign option number 3 a diamond shaped yellow sign option number 4 a triangular orange sign the answer is option number 4 a triangular orange sign note the slow moving vehicle emblem a fluorescent or reflective orange triangle must be displayed on the rear of vehicles drawn by animals and most farm vehicles and construction equipment use caution when approaching or passing slow moving vehicle question a driver may park in a space reserved for people with disabilities if the vehicle displays license plates for the disabled and option number 1 regardless of who is in the vehicle Option number 2. And only if the driver is disabled. Option number 3. And is carrying the disabled person named on the registration. Option number 4. And someone in the driver's immediate family is disabled. The answer is option number 3. And is carrying the disabled person named on the registration. Note. To park in a space reserved for people with disabilities, the vehicle must be in operation to transport the disabled person named on the registration or permit. Question. When the road is marked with a solid yellow line and a broken yellow line on your side, you may pass. Option number 1. Only in an emergency. Option number 2. If you are on an expressway. Option number 3. If traffic is clear. Option number 4. Only at an intersection. The answer is option number 3. If traffic is clear, note, when there is a solid yellow line and a broken yellow line in the center of the road and the broken line is next to your lane, you may cross the lines to pass if there is no oncoming traffic. Question. A rectangular shaped sign is option number 1. School crossing sign. Option number 2. Railroad crossing sign. Option number 3. Stop sign. Option number 4. Speed limit sign. The answer is option number 4. Speed limit sign. Note. Signs informing road users of road regulations such as speed limits are normally rectangular and colored white with black lettering or symbols. Riders must follow the rules posted on these regulatory signs. Question. The car behind you begins to pass you. You should. Option number 1. Maintain your speed so traffic will flow smoothly. Option number 2. Pull to the right and stop so it can pass. Option number 3. Slow down slightly and stay in your lane. Option number 4. Blow your horn to signal that it to pass. The answer is option number 3. Slow down slightly and stay in your lane. Note. If another vehicle passes you on the left, decrease your speed slightly and keep to the right. When the vehicle has safely passed and is ahead of you, resume your normal speed. Question. Assuming that the street is level, what should you do after you have finished parallel parking in a space between two other cars? Option number 1. Leave your front wheels turned towards the curb. Option number 2. Make sure your car almost touches the car behind you. Option number 3. Move as far forward in the space as possible. Option number 4. Straighten your front wheels and leave room between cars. The answer is option number 4. Straighten your front wheels and leave room between cars. Note. The final step of parallel parking, unless you are on a hill, is to bring your wheels straight and pull forward, allowing room for surrounding vehicles to maneuver safely. Question. When a stop is required at an intersection and no marking appear to indicate a stop line or crosswalk, a driver? Option number 1. It's not required to stop. Option number 2. It's required to slow down to make sure crossing traffic is clear. Option number 3. Should stop only at a place where they can see at least 200 feet on either side, even if they have to enter the intersecting roadway. Option number 4 should stop where they have a clear view of approaching traffic before they enter the intersecting roadway. The answer is option number 4. Should stop where they have a clear view of approaching traffic before they enter the intersecting roadway. Note: 
If there is no stop line or crosswalk, you should stop at the point nearest to the intersecting roadway where you can get a view of approaching traffic. You should not enter the intersecting roadway to gain a better view. Question. You have the right of way when you are Option number 1. Entering a traffic circle. Option number 2. Backing out of a driveway. Option number 3. Leaving a parking space. Option number 4. Already within a traffic circle. The answer is option number 4. Already within a traffic circle. Note. A driver who enters a traffic circle or rotary must yield the right of way to drivers already in the circle. Vehicles entering a roadway from a driveway must yield the right of way to pedestrians and to vehicles already in the road. When leaving a parking space, you must yield to oncoming traffic. Question. If a tire suddenly blows out while you are driving, you should Option number 1. Grip the steering wheel firmly, slow down and exit the traffic lane. Option number 2. Pump the brakes rapidly. Option number 3. Brake hard and steer towards the right edge of the roadway. The answer is option number 1. Grip the steering wheel firmly, slow down and exit the traffic lane. Note. If you experience a sudden tire blowout, do not panic. Grab the steering wheel firmly and take your foot off the accelerator to allow the vehicle to roll to a stop. Lightly apply the brakes when it is safe to do so. Do not move to the shoulder of the road until the car has slowed considerably. Question. What might happen when alcohol is combined with another drug? Option number 1. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be increased. Option number 2. Nothing will happen. Option number 3. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be reduced. Option number 4. The effects of only the alcohol may be reduced. The answer is option number 1. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be increased. Note. Consuming both alcohol and another drug may enhance the effects of both. For example, taking one drink when you are also using a cold remedy could affect you as if you have had several drinks. Question. People driving under the influence of alcohol are Option number 1. Not a problem in New York State. Option number 2. Every driver's problem. Option number 3. A police enforcement problem only. Option number 4. Only a problem to those who drink. The answer is option number 2. Every driver's problem. Note. Every impaired or intoxicated driver is dangerous both to themselves and to others on the road. Question. Assuming that the street is level, what should you do after you have finished parallel parking in a space between two other cars? Option number 1. Leave your front wheels turned towards the curb. Option number 2. Make sure your car almost touches the car behind you. Option number 3. Move as far forward in the space as possible. Option number 4. Straighten your front wheels and leave room between cars. The answer is option number 4. Straighten your front wheels and leave room between cars. Note. The final step of parallel parking unless you are on a hill is to bring your wheels straight and pull forward allowing room for surrounding vehicles to maneuver safely. Question. What is the appropriate action to take when approaching a railroad crossing that does not have signals, such as lights or crossing gates? Option number 1. Always bring the car to a complete stop. Option number 2. Slow down and be prepared to stop. Option number 3. All railroad crossings have signals so you will never encounter this situation. Option number 4. Increase your speed to get across the tracks quickly. The answer is option number 2. Slow down and be prepared to stop. Note. When approaching an unmarked railroad crossing, slow down and be prepared to stop. Before you cross, be sure that no trains are approaching from either direction on any track. If you see or hear a train coming, stop at a safe distance from the nearest track and wait to proceed until after the train passes. Question. A diamond shaped sign is a Option number 1. Road hazard sign. Option number 2. Interstate route sign. Option number 3. School crossing sign. Option number 4. Speed limit sign. The answer is option number 1. 
road has a sign. Note, warning signs are normally diamond shaped and yellow. Although orange warning signs are used in work areas, such signs warn that you are approaching a hazardous location or an area where special rules apply. Question. The driver's left hand and arm are extended upward. This hand signal means that the driver plans to Option number 1. Turn left. Option number 2. Turn right. Option number 3. Come to a stop. Option number 4. Go straight ahead. The answer is option number 2. Turn right. Note. If a driver's left arm and hand are extended upward, they are indicating that they intend to turn right. Adjust to driving accordingly if following a driver who is using this hand signal. Question. Motors should be aware that all bicycles used after dark must have. Option number 1. Reflective handlebar grips. Option number 2. A front headlight and a red tail light. Option number 3. White reflectors on the front and rear fenders. Option number 4. Brake lights. The answer is option number 2. A front headlight and a red tail light. Note. A bicycle used at night must have a headlight visible from at least 500 feet ahead and a red tail light visible from at least 300 feet behind. Question. You come to an intersection which has a flashing red light. You should Option number 1. Slow down and drive carefully through the intersection. Option number 2. Turn either right or left since the road is blocked ahead. Option number 3. Stop at the intersection and wait for a flashing green light. Option number 4. Stop at the intersection then proceed as traffic allows. The answer is option number 4. Stop at the intersection, then proceed as traffic allows. Note: A flashing red light means that you must come to a full stop and then proceed when the way is clear. Question. If you drink alcohol socially, what helps ensure safe driving? Option number 1. Drink coffee before driving. Option number 2. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. Option number 3. Take a cold shower before driving. Option number 4. Stop drinking one half hour before driving. The answer is option number 2. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. Note. One strategy to avoid driving while impaired or intoxicated is to arrange for a ride home with a friend who does not drink. Drinking coffee or taking a cold shower cannot reduce your blood alcohol content or reduce the effects of alcohol. On average, it takes about an hour for the body to eliminate the alcohol from a single drink. Question. A red and white triangular sign at an intersection means Option number 1. Slow down if an emergency vehicle is approaching. Option number 2. Look both ways as you cross the intersection. Option number 3. Always come to a full stop at the intersection. Option number 4. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. The answer is option number 4. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Note: A triangular red and white ill sign means that you must decrease speed as you approach an intersection and ill the right of way to any vehicles or pedestrians in the intersection. You must be prepared to stop if conditions require it. Question: You want to back out of a driveway. You see children playing nearby. Before you start to move your car, you should Option number 1 Reverse your engine to warn the children that you are moving. Option number 2. Sound your horn so the children will hear you. Option number 3. Walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear. Option number 4. Tell the children to stay away from the driveway. The answer is option number 3. Walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear. Note. When you back up a vehicle, look through your back window for pedestrians and other obstacles. Do not rely only on your mirrors, especially when children are near. Before you back into or out of a driveway, get out of the vehicle and check behind your vehicle. Question. You may pass another vehicle on the right if it is waiting to. Option number 1. Turn right. Option number 2. Turn left. Option number 3. Park at the curb. Option number 4. Turn into a driveway on the right. 
The answer is option number 2. Turn left. Note. While you generally may pass only on the left, there are certain conditions under which passing on the right is permitted. You should only pass on the right if you can do so safely and you do not need to drive on or across the shoulder or edge line of the road. One situation where passing on the right is allowed is when the vehicle in front of you is making a left turn. Question On average, the human body can dispose of the alcohol in 12 ounces of beer in about Option number 1 1 hour Option number 2 1 day Option number 3 5 minutes Option number 4 5 hours The answer is option number 1 1 hour Note On average, it takes the body about 1 hour to remove the alcohol content of 12 ounces of beer or wine coolers 5 ounces of wine or 1.5 ounces of hard liquor in a 150 pound mill, one of these drinks will raise the blood alcohol content BAC by about 0.02%. The removal of alcohol from the body may be slower in movement, resulting in a higher BAC over a longer period of time. Question: You must yield the right of way to an approaching vehicle when you are Option number 1. Already in a traffic circle Option number 2. Already in an intersection. Option number 3. Going straight ahead. Option number 4. Turning left. The answer is option number 4. Turning left. Note. When drivers approach the same intersection from opposite directions at about the same time, drivers turning left must yield to traffic that is going straight or turning right. If a driver traveling straight approaches an intersection where another driver is already making a left turn, they must let the vehicle complete its turn before entering the intersection. Drivers entering a traffic circle or rotary must yield to drivers already in the circle.